E6 side, we got Affinity, Eternity, Poseidon, and Hudson's. And Hudson's looking up at his kill count right now, very high on the board. He's looking <laughs> up at himself. Over on the other side, Prison, of course, Inertia, Nightfall, and Secret. Those guys already got one win tonight. Can they pull the double duty, come out with the W here, come out with, I would say, the upset on this map at least, over E6? Yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be a good one. We already know that Hudson's is going to go off. It's just uh, it's just a matter of time right here. I'm just trying to, I'm just curious to see how Orb is going to uh, adapt to him and uh, the plays that he's about to make right here. Uh, so we're going to be on board here with Prison. He's going to spat Twerk Bow. His teammates put the uh, smoke down and he's going to slide out that bow. He's going to get clipped with Snipe, but he's going to actually back out right now. Inertia's Peter McKill and Poseidon. 4v3 situation in favor of Orbit. All right, and Prison moving around with the Torque Bow, a strat we see them pull sometimes here. Not a lot of teams are running this Torque Bow strat, to be honest with you, but as we move to Season 2, teams are adapting, coming up with new things, and Orbit looking to do just the same here as Torque Bow is high side. No, he is, and he sees the guy right in front of him. He, I know he wished he turned the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know he wished he had it out to get that rev. It would have probably put him in a good position. Snipe's going to get picked up by Nightfall, and he sees his teammate in the water right there. Uh, all Okay, so... This is my okay. So we have Orbit. They got two power weapons. They don't got nades. They, they are in the hands of Eternity. So Eternity, he's watching this house out alone. Okay, and at the same time, they're respecting Hudson Snipe. So here go two nades here. He's gonna toss both of them, and Hudson's is gonna catch Snipe oh, on the transition. Not again. And Affinity's gonna catch Prison in transition as well. Double headshots there by Unbelievable. E6. Unbelievable. Hudson, two headshots already. We just started. Two headshots. That body sliding down the stairs. How depressing that's got to be if you're Orbit watching your team member just headless in the water. Yeah, you know, they were down a man and in a split second, they got the advantage right back in their favor. E6, though, here coming out with a kill on secret. Hudson's going to be looking through the rifle again now. Already has two heads on his mantle. Looking to grab a third in the first round. Of course, Baird, his character of choice. Yeah. And, and mine as well. He knows he's on the water series. They're just waiting for it. They're about to pick up the second set of nades and uh, flush this guy out. Uh, Going to get a good rotation on the low side. I don't think he has snipe. Hudson is just being a predator here. He's keeping his patience. He's waiting for him to pop up. Oh, had the chance there for the three-bagger. Not going to do it. Instead, going to opt to rotate around. Go up high side here. Sniper is picked up there by Orbit. Grenade's going to go out. Hudson's with a second shot. Not going to connect, though. And they're going to move around here, pin this guy in the corner. Pistol shots going out in a 3v1, and Eternity takes him out. Round number one for E6 here on the board in the first round. Good job. See, now, especially the way that round started off, Inertia made it such a great play, uh, breaking ice right there, but his teammates just needed to react quick. Uh, they needed to react very quick, and they gave they gave uh, E6 enough time being the man down to think himself out of that situation, and they paid for it. E6 now going on board here with Affinity. That former pro player here, he was here in season number one. He is back for season two, of course. Lancer shot's going to go out, and now a shotgun will be changed to as they're looking to take that mid-bridge control. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and do it here for the moment, at least. If Affinity's still putting shots, Poseidon going to get it down on prison. Coming in in the back, it's going to be Hudson's and Poseidon and company. They all team up collectively, take the mid-bridge, take them down. Take the round pretty dominant there. Yeah, you see, and they ignored Affinity right there, and they double push up a mid bridge to try to catch off, uh, to try to catch off Poseidon right there, but they were just not able to do it, and uh, they cleaned up those kills in a quick fashion. Round numero three, two to zero, E6 is favor. Orbit has to answer, but right now we're going to check out Eternity. He'll be playing up high. He's going to go around that cover. Sniper picked up by Hudson's again. Watch out, folks. You do not want to miss a shot. And Eternity going to back up now. Basically just calling out what's going on up on the high side there and getting the, getting the heck out of there. Yeah, he knew he didn't want to be there because he was going to be in a bad position with two guys pushing. Uh, he's going to push up now and be, be pretty annoying because he knows these guys pushed up onto the bridge and they're distracted. And he's going to come on his flank. Prison's picking up a kill. Attorney's going to clean up this kill. He got three guys in front of him, but he's going to go down and put his teammate into a 1v3 situation here. 1v3. Three in favor of Orbit. One for E6. Orbit looking for their first round of this match here. Who is going to be our one player alive, Blaze? Is right here, you know, you got Hudson's. You see him scoping. What's his Knife, name? Nightfall is choosing his position wisely. Uh, Hudson's going to push Hudson. out for him. Coming and down here. Here we go. Hudson's with the rifle out. Gets chunked for his troubles there. So not the best spot for Hudson's with the rifle. Maybe he should have played a little more passively. But he went in there. He got killed. And now we're going on to our next round here. Still up 2-1 to one is E6. Yeah, see, he, he, right there he tried to make something happen, uh, but he just could not, you know, it was just, he, but he had to try something there. Uh, on board right now with Secret, 
So we're gonna see right now. Secret's gonna go high side. So he's gonna go high side. It looks like they're gonna be doing a two-two no. Actually, Secret's not. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna fake it out and go low. Uh, they called out the water push, so there was a good transition there by Secret. Bow's gonna get picked up. They wasn't able to rotate down quick enough, but they at least need to push up high side, get nade control, get connection control, and they're gonna get that. Now they need they snipe in this situation. They do have nade, so they can watch high side. One player can watch high side, full orbit, and the other one needs to rotate out and get snipe. So I think we may see a smoke here on the high side for Secret to rotate back. But they're playing this right now, 2 2 no snipe, but right now it's currently a stalemate. And here we are, Secret with a smoke out, gonna toss it on over. Obscure some vision there. We have three up on the high side there. Orbit looking to get their second round on the board here and tie it up two to two on canals. E6, however, looking to go up three to one here and really put themselves in a good spot to clutch it out here. And, uh, you know, tell me about your experience with Poseidon. Have uh, How much experience have you had playing with this guy? What, what does he bring to the table for E6 being their new fourth member? Uh, I played at one of my funnest LAN events with this guy, and I, we ended up getting third place actually together. And uh, you know, Poseidon, he just he just gets the job done. You know, you get you can't have more of a uh, trustworthy player than him. You know, when you need him to make a play, he'll make a play. When you need him to be there for you to take shots, uh, and to put in shots, he's gonna be there for you as well. Uh, just he's just he's well rounded. You know, he's that that good player, Mr. Mr. Do It All. Mr. Do It All. And we see Prison doing a little uh. Little prison shuffle over there, little dance, little dance action. I like that. I'm a dance fan. So holding off right here. Okay, so now, okay, so orbit. I don't think they, they didn't back up. They didn't get their snipe because they didn't want a chance it because Hudson was in position, probably to catch the guy off guard while he was getting sniped. Oh, actually, I take that back. Erdner did pick it up. Okay, so they have snipe and they have two sets of nades. Okay, so orbit has two sets of nades. Uh, E6 is gonna wait. They're gonna get their second snipe as well. Uh, they're taking some shots. They're on the defensive, and it, it's rightfully so that they're on the defensive because orbit has two sets of grenades. Uh, it's pretty stupid at this point for E6 to make a push. Right now, they're just waiting to counter whatever move that uh, orbit decides to make right now. So. So me personally, I would like Orbit to be a little bit more quicker uh, and made plays with the nades off the jump. But now they got Eternity with a snipe, they got Hustles with a snipe, they got a bow in the hands of uh, Poseidon, I think, either Poseidon or Affinity. And now they're just patiently waiting for him to dodge these nades and catch somebody off guard while uh, Orbit's devised a plan to push. Right, and we're all patiently waiting here. As we see so often, this map breaks down to a slower map. We're waiting for the action, power weapons get picked up. You know, but when it comes up, when that last minute starts ticking down, we see yeah. heads flying, people running, and it's uh, exciting. Exactly, and, and, exciting I, minute. And, and this is because like players hesitate. You know, what I'm saying they, they they hesitate on the moves that they're gonna make, uh, and you know, it's almost like as if the strats they come up with are not fully planned out. You know, in in, the, in these type of situations, because you'll think that you know the same play that you make, you're gonna make it each and every time when it comes down to transitions. Like, all right, I got the nades, I'm gonna toss it here, you toss it here, we're gonna push, but. You know, they wait till the clock tickets down because just based off confidence alone. And we're going to see Inertia pick up a nade kill right there. Eternity trying to stay alive. He's taking a lot of shots from low side. He's going to get into a 1v1 right, 1v1 right now. And he goes out. Nightfall is going to take him out. 4v2 situation. Poseidon is running back to spawn here. They're both going to be in spawn. And they're just going to hold it off. But I'm pretty sure they do have more nades here. Uh, this should be a quick round. A quick right. into this round. Quick, yeah, two players alive. Looking to collapse on him right now. If any, he takes out one. Can he get two? He cannot. Here comes Poseidon. Can he clutch it out? No, he will not. Nightfall takes him down. That's going to be another round for Orbit. Two to two back and forth again. We go here, and uh, I'm excited about it. Yeah, they just held off right here. Now, going into this round, uh, you know, what we want to see is we want to see quick transitions, quick transitions right here. Uh, you know, so far, Orbit, you know, they've been playing a 2 2 no snipe to start it off the round. And uh, they've just, they just been making sure they can secure nades and rotate back. Uh, I would like to see E6 fight it. I would like to see E6 fight it right here on the mid bridge. They're gonna go for the uh, for the Lancer strat right here in water, and they're gonna focus the guy on the hop up. He goes down, but he gets revived. Nightfall's gonna pick a kill on mid bridge. Affinity's coming around on rotation. The nurse is gonna down his own teammate, but Secret with a good headshot there on Hudson's. Affinity not able to do much. He's gonna get cleaned up. This is gonna be a 4v1. 4v1, not looking good here. As Orbit looking to collapse on the last player for E6, and really, uh, you know, it's a surprise to myself here. Go up three to two right now. They're in position now. A little bit of fun uh, from the Orbit guys there, but they're in a position right now, three to two, to take out E6 on their best map, and this is our first map, so it's really gonna set the tone for the rest of the match. Yeah, definitely will set the tone going forward here. Uh, Hudson's, these last two rounds, we're gonna have to see them pick it up and make some plays happen, uh, but they can just cannot, E6 cannot overextend. They, they, they do not need to overextend right here. Um, because Orbit will give them play. They will give them an opportunity to get uh, taken advantage of. And we're going to be on board here with Prison. 
And he looks like he wants to take Midbridge off the jump. Just taking a few shots right there. And oh, Hudson there is making already. the play off the jump. What his team needed. He's going to take out inertia right there. Taking him out there. Sniper picked up by Orbit again. Probably off a dead body. And, uh, you know, Hudson's making the difference this round. Taking out that first player. Breaking ice. Doing what he has to do. He's doing his part right now. Now the rest of this team has to do theirs. Yes, they do. Uh, they're going to bypass Bo. And they're going to push to try to take this guy out low side. 2v1 in them. They cannot allow him to get a kill. And Poseidon did get a kill. But Affinity takes out his own teammate right here. This just turned into a 2v2 situation. Hudson gets one down. They're pistoling him. Now Bo will get picked up. Uh, Prince is going to drop the shotty for that as well. And now they do have snipe shotty combo. Well, snipe and twerk bow. And uh, he didn't drop it. He, he does have a shotgun still. He's holding off. Hudson's is taking shots. They're going to make it out. Inertia, not inertia, but secret trying to catch somebody off guard right now. This is a huge, huge round right here. Win it or go to round number seven. Torpo shot going to get fired out there. Going to change over to his Nasher. So yeah, he wants probably, to pocket that active. Yeah, I'll probably have an active coming when he gets back to the torque bow. And active torque bows, they rev a lot, uh, a lot faster. A lot faster than uh, non-active torque bows. So, you know, if they, they push or they want to make a push, he's going to get that quick rev. Prison sees a guy up on the high side there. Going to call him out. Going to look to move over now and possibly either bounce that torque or get a shot off in his back. Here we go. Moving around, sniper shot gonna go out, not gonna connect. Here goes Prison, shooting the torque ball, bouncing it off, hoping to get any kind of damage he can. Again, he'll shoot the ground, looking for the splash damage. Eternity now on the bridge, so they are separated yeah, here. That guy's in a corner by himself, Dan. Because I don't know, like, if they cycling cameras, they should know Eternity's there. Uh, man, this is good smoke. They can push one of these guys. They gotta uh, push one of these guys yeah. soon before they get back and regroup here. Secret now moving around before with the, the rifle. Come up too. Here we go. Here go to push. Hudson's going to clip one. They're going to divert the attention on mid-bridge. But here comes Nades. And there you go. Secret turn around on Hudson's right there. Good pickup right there. They're going to dodge Nades. And they're going to put themselves in a 2v1. Eternity pushing forward. He's going to get one. And he's oh. going to get two. Taking them both out. Eternity throwing bricks and building a house right there for Double his team. duty. Clutching it out when he has to. We are all in shock off that there. Just pushing into him. He does work. Eternity clutching it out. So it wasn't Hudson's. It wasn't Poseidon. It was Eternity coming out. Three rounds to three now. Looking to close it out. There you go. Bring it in for his teammate. All right. Orbit needs to keep composure right here. Going into round number four. On board here with Eternity. He just won his team that last round right here. He's going to be pushing into the high side. Uh, he's going to back up. He got the numbers. He got what he wanted to know. Uh, he's going to hide here in the high side connectors. Going to slow it up. Snipe's going to get picked up by Orbit. Uh, Nate's going to get picked up by Orbit as well. Hudson has snipe. We're going to see them try to focus their attention on both, but they're not going to be able to. We're going to see all four members right now of, of E6. They're going on to the defensive strat, you know. See, the thing is with this, okay, so this is why E6 just keeps getting put in this position, okay. As Eternity notices that uh, it's a lot of guys high side, right, and especially if they if E6 is giving them their bridge. Eternity is dropping back, which is the smart move. He should be dropping back because he's in a bad position if he pushes up. But if they're not going to contest the mid-bridge low side, Eternity needs to rotate quickly, okay? He needs to rotate quickly down low if they're doing these 2-2-0 two, two, no snipes. He needs to rotate two, through water and he needs to pick up these kills low side. Now, if they're just seeing one high side, Eternity needs to match his 1v1 high side and they need to play the 2v2 down low a little bit better. So as they're taking mid-bridge, if somebody on orbit takes mid-bridge before E6, E6 needs to be quickly behind that guy, okay? While Eternity has his 1v1 high side and uh, let Snipes rotate if Snipes want to rotate. But E6, the, the rotations need to be a little bit better on this map. They put in too much faith in Hudson's right now. All right, well, again, we're breaking down here. Hudson's on mid-bridge with Baird with that backpack. Right now he's putting his team in his backpack. Yeah, right, and, uh, but trying he to needs carry to... Them. Exactly. He need uh, it's it, it, it's about half full right now, and he needs to fill it up during this round. Okay, he needs to put a little bit more weight. He's looking for the snipe shot. He's going to trade off. It's not really true though, by the way, as we've seen Eternity come up big in this map. So it's not all yeah, that. Yeah, he Hudson's did it. That's why I said it's half full. It's not. It's, he's not fully carrying. Half full right now. Uh, this snipe will get picked up. Hudson needs to be careful because guy is crouched on that back snipe wall. And uh, as you can see, that you got people running across mid bridge. Hudson's just trying to find a good shot right now. This is a bad shot for him actually. Well, you can turn a bad shot quickly to a good shot if he pulls it off, and then you're going to be having yeah. your tongue hanging out of your mouth again. Like, exactly. what just happened? But so. The round's breaking down here. Three to three. First map. Both teams want to set the tone here. And uh, so far, we don't have a clear idea of who it's going to be. As two snipers are in the hands of E6, Orbit looking to get in there, rush these guys down. But right now, we're just waiting.
playing in the waiting game. Yeah, last time this happened was on the opposite side of the map, and Orbitz won that round. Pretty much, folks, they're just waiting for a second set of needs. Okay, the needs spawn every minute and 30 seconds, so they should be coming up soon. We should see that icon. They're going to get probably a uh, smoke out my bridge, slap the second set of needs right here, and then Orbit will be making a push. Uh, you know, if you got to make a push for the win, you're going to wait till you get four sets, of, I mean, two sets of needs rather than one set. Uh, so they'll have four needs in total, and they actually have two snipes. So Torque Boy is still in play. Hasn't been picked up. 58 seconds left on the clock. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Orbit leave a guy on the defensive while the rest of the team pushes. And here we go. That minute comes up. It's our last minute. The minute of mayhem coming up right now as we'll see everybody pushing. Grenades, snipers, shots, shotguns, lancers, pistols, trying to get the last kills in the last moments of the round. But yeah. it's very hard to do. Here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Hudson's. He, he's just keeping his patience and that's what he needs to do right here you know a draw that round is a win is a one round right here for e6 actually uh 30 seconds on the clock one day is going to be a dud here comes the push there Hudson is. is gonna take out prison right there, there eternity is. is gonna take out nightfall saying hold up back it down right now and we're gonna see the there oh, it secrets is. get three. take out affinity that's orbit though can we get another headshot for team orbit are they gonna pull another one off and even it out this will be a drawed out round right here i'm pretty sure orbit does have a member in spawn know. already Two shots from Hudson is going out. Not going to connect. Not like him, but will he have a shot there? No, he misses the opportunity. Moving in now. Attorney takes him out. Here we go. Last oh. chance. Does he have oh. oh, my lord. He doesn't have it. Hudson's was mad right there because he, he didn't know that the other guy was going to die up mid-bridge because he was like, you know what? I'm not going to, like, pursue the guy too much. And he was like, oh, I might as well just go kill him. The round's going to draw it. And, like, his teammate killed the last guy. He's like, hold up. I, can, I still got a chance. But... If he would have pulled that off, it would have been pretty interesting. He was going with the shotgun towards his chest the last second there, but okay. cannot pull the trigger. Here we off go. To our second second. Round they like they want to do a, they, they want to do a water push. Secret went went in water right off the jump. They're pushing low side right off the jump. They're doing a water push right here. Affinity's trying to hold him off, getting some good shots down here in the water. They're gonna get two members down. Uh, Inertia is gonna pick up the kill on Affinity. Three v three situation right now. Nades are gonna get dropped in water by Eternity. He's trying to do something. Inertia is standing alive down here at Torque Bowl. Hudson is going to snipe him down. Here we go. Attorney's going to pick up a kill by Nightfall. Inertia is still down. This is technically a 1v3. Can his teammate get up? And Hudson's going to get that headshot with the revive. And they're going to get the last guy right there. That's and it. good shot there by E6. Capitalizing on the failed push there by Orbit. Yeah, a great round by them. You know, Orbit, you got to take your hat off to them in the regards that they try to strat there. It's either going to pay off <laughs> greatly that round or you're going to lose in the way they did. So, you know, a it's great try. But I feel like it's almost cliche that teams desperately run, uh, you know, four low side and, and tie game in, in last round situations on canals. I feel like I've seen it for years. It's like 3-3. Three, three. Initially, I always tell my team, yo, watch for the water push. <laughs> watch for the water push, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it usually always comes down to that. And E6, they were ready for it that round. They definitely were ready for it. Looking back at the highlights here, we had plenty of highlights in this map. Of course, we're looking at Infinity here from E6, the winning team, up on the mid bridge, taking out that that player there, and then uh, Eternity, the guy who's going to clutch it out. We're going to see upcoming here, possibly uh, first team. Just a great map for them. You know, their best map. It was four to three. Normally, they win this map in a bigger fashion. Here we go with that clutch down to Orbit Prison, down Secret, and there's no secret there. And just to say, you know, uh, E6 were down three to two right there. You know, would not take that back. Yeah. They were down three to two, and uh, they came back and won those last two rounds. And now it just pretty much outplayed the last three rounds uh, for Orbit against Orbit right there. So going into map number two, uh, we want to see this Orbit team just keep a little bit more composure. It's going to be Banshee, and as I said beforehand, when they played, when they played Justice, Justice ran over on four one, wiped them out. Because I feel like Orbit Orbit overthinks this map way too much, uh, and as I said before, E six. They have, the, they have that ability to flip that switch right there, so I, I can honestly see Eternity and Poseidon going big on this map. Well, and the question is I have for you as well is that E6, 4-3, to three, they won canals. They normally dominate that map uh, a little bit better than that. So, Orbit played them so close on canals, their best map. Now we're on to Mansion. But that's got to say something as far as the skill of this team, you know, so close on their best map. And now they're playing Mansion, a map which can go either way. Uh, it's a it's a great chance for Orbit to answer here, although, like you said earlier, against Justice, they did not have the best showing. Yeah. They kind of, in their own heads too much. Get out of their own heads, and they can get some other heads on their mantle. Exactly. Mantle. You know, just flow with the game. You know, be one with your character, okay? Going to be on board here with Poseidon. Going to trade shots inside, and he's going to push up. I mean, he wanted to up on that wall. I don't know if he wanted to hop over, but he's going to make the best of it. And he's going to go forward. Prison goes down. Affinity and Hudson's both go down. Poseidon's out here. 
He's gonna get a grenade tag. Trying to stay alive right here, and this round's gonna go for orbit. And he got the the kill there with the shotgun for good measure. But one to zero orbit coming out real quick there. Nothing really else to say other than a great round for them. That player inside doing a great job, and it's one to zero. Moving on to round number two, Blaze. Round number two. We're gonna hop on board here with Nightfall. Nope, nope, nope. I wanna go with Eternity. So gonna be on board here with Eternity. Eternity needs to go big for his team right here. Orbit one last round, and he's gonna push forward here. He's gonna put some good shots on the boom. Boom not picked up yet. It's a big fight of boom. Eternity trying to trade shots and smoke. He's gonna get back A by prison. A uh, secret's gonna make something happen here, and they're just gonna clean up. Hudson's not able to do much, and this round's gonna go for Orbit again. Wow, two rounds very, very quick for Orbit. Prison on top, 410. You know, we've seen him numerous times on top for his team. Inertia and Secret staying alive. Those those guys making a name for themselves today. Orbit, they really want to win this second match today, so they're looking looking real good now. It's looking like they made the adjustments after that last L that they took from Justice on this map. And we're going to go on board here with Nightfall. Nightfall, he's going to be pushing middle. He sees Orbit's pushing heavier. Boom, Nightfall with the back A. Going to take out one. Going to put a shot in on Boom. Going to down Boom right there. He's going to push up mid pillar. Going to down this guy as well with help of his teammate. And now in a 4v1 situation. Man, that was just positioning there from Nightfall in the right spot at the right time every round. And with that, four guys alive, four guys dead. Orbit, I cannot say anything else right now. I have to, all I have to do is ask all the E6 fans out there to give them your energy right now, because they need help right now. They need a lot of help right now. So we're gonna be on board here with Poseidon. So Poseidon's gonna, no action, we're gonna go on board here with Hudson. Hudson's, Hudson's right now, we see yeah. the rifle. Let's see if we can do some damage with the Nash now. He's getting flanked in the back, Secret takes him out. Looks like he's down, will he get cleaned up? He does. Secret and Inertia on board there, taking out another couple players. Hudson gets up, kills Prison, Inertia taking out Affinity. We're down to a three on two now. Poseidon moving around, gonna put the Lancer away, pull out a shotgun, Secret takes out another player, three on one now. And will they collapse? And they will. That will be four rounds. That will be Orbit, a dominant, <laughs> dominant map. Back into a one to one map. Secret, Secret just going off there that last round. And you know, one of E6's weaknesses, you know, when they get down like that, you know, when they get a smacked up like that, you know, it can definitely ruin their team morale. They got to bounce back better than that. But Orbit made the adjustments that they uh, needed to make after losing the Justice, and they showed it. They 4 0 them. I mean, I feel like it, how, do, how do you have a map that close on canals and then come out with a performance like that on Mansion? I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now with that kind of performance. But, yeah. you know, moving on to our next map is going to be Clock Tower. We've seen it numerous times today, that teamwork-oriented map, Lancer Fire, Pistol Fire. All about this map we've seen today. I mean, what do you think? Who has the advantage coming in here as far as these two teams? Uh, the team that I think has the advantage is going to be Orbit. Uh, this this map plays more towards their um, their skill set. All right. So just with the leadership of Prison right here and the team fight that these guys have, I think they're going to come out on top with this map. Uh, I think we're going to see some pushes. Hudson is going to have to hold down this whole spot. I want to say he, I'm pretty sure he's playing whole spot right here, and he's going to have to hold down this whole spot. Uh, you know. And we're going to see what he can do. We're going to see what he can do. He needs to put down a lot of shots. All right. We're here on Clock Tower. Kicking off map number three. I'm excited about it, Blaze. I know you're excited about it. Gears of War Pro League season number two. I mean, what else can we say here? The best Gears of War gameplay we've been seeing in the world. These teams competing for one of the four spots for our finals. Let's get it first round, Blaze. All right. Here we go. Going to be on board with Poseidon. Poseidon's gonna hold this down right now, and he's gonna come up and he's gonna he's gonna toss these smokes right now. He's gonna toss these smokes, try to make something happen. He's gonna push up, throwing some shots now, pushing up. Doesn't want to get the snipe. He's gonna back up a little bit right now. Gonna put some shots in. He's gonna get this snipe. They're gonna miss that slide right there. Poseidon in a good position to capitalize. He needs to stay up. Got two members down. Just need to clean up these kills and get out of there. And he's gonna push forward. Gonna switch off. Can he get this beard? And yes, he does. He's gonna clean this up as well. Picking up three kills right there. Last guy on whole spot. Poseidon coming in for that four piece. And shots are going out there. Great teamwork by E6. Just focus, 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 focus. All down there. They take everybody out. Poseidon, great job in the snipe alley up there. Four kills, three downs. Doing it all there. Affinity, of course, with some help. Doing it all. Did a good job right now. Good job there by Poseidon uh, in that round. You know, his teammates had all the help in the world there for him. So here we go. Going to be on board here with 
Poseidon once again. Why he has not, such right? a good round, right? Why not? So, gonna push up right now. Poseidon, Poseidon's gonna dodge. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. You he paid for it that round. We know they exposed the threat there. Poseidon in the alley did not want to see him go off again in the second round. He gets taken out. And look at Orbit with oh, the my answer. Oh, Nightfall. Just kill for kill. Shots going out there. Carnage all around Orbit with an emphatic answer. And I want to say that was a blind fire pistol headshot on Poseidon uh, to start that round off. And he did such a good job with those last two kills as well. Orbit going to tie it up one to one. One to one. If we move on to round number three, kicking off on board, it looks like with Poseidon again running with that smoke out. Going to try to use that to get some cover, get himself up there into the fight like he's been doing so well. Tosses the smoke out, takes his spot on back pillar. Watching the sniper rifle and as well as watching the uh, the sandbag area over there, and here we go. Already in the area, can't move up, can't move up a little closer than that because that spot is not allowed by ESL, so not allowed to move up there. Did a great job though, and here he goes going in. Gonna pick up two kills right there. Affinity's gonna pick up third. Last guy alive, and it's gonna be secret. He's gonna go down as well. Good job there by E6, making things happen. Making them happen. That time they let the fight kind of come to them and just dominated from there. Poseidon still on top, 6, 17, 7 kills, man. Whew, that's a good couple rounds for him. Yeah, that definitely is a good couple of rounds for him right there. So going into round number four right now, uh, we're going to have Poseidon. Going to be on board with him once the again. The Poseidon show <laughs> it, right it, now. It really is, yo. Working his thrash ball cold right now. He's going to be pushing the top. Going to smoke out this back pillar. And we're going to see him get a little aggressive right now. Going to try to put some shots in. And... He's gonna he's gonna actually play a passive. He's he's played the grass last few rounds and there you go. He's just taking his time there. The smoke is out. His teammates do get down, so he needs to pay attention to what's going on in front of him. He's gonna push his back pillar, be a little annoying. He's gonna come clean up this kill. Gonna put some focus in on the jail. He just needs to stay alive right here. He cannot go down. And he's gonna get that last kill, but he's gonna get flanked from the stairs. But he has help from his team, but not before Nightfall can take him out. Nightfall taken down as well though, and that will be another round for E6. They're gonna go up here. Three rounds to one, one round away from closing it out and taking their second map. So thus far, a great answer from them after a uh, a poor performance on Mansion, to be honest. Yeah, definitely has a poor performance on Mansion right there. And uh, right here, so we're going to go on board here with Poseidon, the Poseidon Show. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Poseidon showing us what he can do, putting in work, displaying <laughs> those skills. Mind. You read my mind right there. All if right. you don't know, now you know. This guy's here to stay. He's doing the show. And we're on board here. Going to move up, it looks like. That sniper alley. Lancer out. Being very sneaky. Again, he can't move up further, though. Because that will be a uh, automatic DQ. Technical. Here. Technical. All right. But beside him, he's going to hold his ground right here. Holding off. Good smoke down back back pillar. Uh, which is going to give Poseidon a, a good play right there to, 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 to make a play on secondary. But he's going to go down right there. Hudson's making a play. Uh, going to pick up that headshot on prison. Affinity's going to clean the nurse up. 3v2 situation in favor of E6. And Hudson's going to down Nightfall. And they're going to go for the revive on his teammate. But he's going to get chunked. But Secret goes down as well. And this is going to go for E6. It's going to be it. 4-1 to E6. Takes out Clock Tower. Knocks it out of the park. And with that, they will go up now in a 2-1 to one map count. Looking to close it out on our next map coming up here, Blaze. Man, you know, Orbit right there just just fighting through. Uh, but E6 is just a better squad today. So far. Going up 2-0. Uh, and, you know, E6 is just having a good showing right now. And you got to remember, this is the same E6 squad that in relegation they came out and they beat Elevate, who is considered one of our top teams right now. Currently, they beat them in convincing fashion. So we knew they had it in them. It's just about getting... On the same page, we've seen it before. They can do it when they put their minds to it, and they did it this map. They definitely did do it this map, so that's exciting right there. Uh, you know, you see a Poseidon right here this round. Picking up all four kills. Pretty much he got all four kills on his own right there. And, you know, he just did such a great job there. Uh, just cleaning them up. His teammate had all the support in the world for him. And there you go, Nightfall with the blind fire pistol headshot. Poseidon had his own personal cameraman this uh, this game here, you know. He was following around, watching what he was doing. And we Which, like what we what, saw. What can I say? I like I like my boy Brendan, okay? I, I, he does work. Here. He does work. I respect your decisions. <laughs> and I will going forward, but we want to see some more action. We're going to see some more action. Map number four. I got to say it's two to one right now, E6. They're uh, looking to close it out here. And this is going to be, I want to believe in my opinion, their second best map, Fuel Depot, coming up right now. Hudson's with the rifle. I mean, you know, Poseidon doing what he's doing. I'm feeling real confident about my pick. I'm feeling real confident. Okay, so. Well, you shouldn't because you're, you, I believe you took Orbit. 
I did. I did take Orbit. <laughs> You're right about that. I did take Orbit. And get your L ready for after this map, okay? You can show it to the world again because we did it one time before. We're going to do it again. Hey, it ain't over till it's over, okay? That, right. That's one that. thing we learned. Take take the lesson from our national champions, okay? They were down 2-0 and they came back, okay? Sorry, Envious. I had to make you guys remember that one, but they came back. That's true. You got me there. All right. So now we're even. Hey, we are even, okay? But on board here with Fuel Depot. Uh, we're going to see a big fight here for the Boom Shot Control. And that's going to be inside, uh, inside Hangar right here. Five seconds on the clock. It's your boy, Gap Blazing Deluxe. Coming at you, map number three. It's Fuel Depot Deluxe. Take us away. Here we go. Orbit going to start over on the advantage side here. The Locust side. Secret going to be getting that front spawn. We're going to rotate around, it looks like. And we're going to end up with our camera on the man, none other than Poseidon Blaze. <laughs> up towards that helipad. Pistol out, running around, looking for some action. Gonna be calling it out. Boom shot picked up by Orbit. So uh, they gotta watch out for that. And here we go as pistol shots are going out. Side looking for some action. And thus far, a slow round. No action right now. Everybody waiting for their moment. There we go. Hashtag in chat. The Poseidon show. The PO5 show right now, folks. Let me see you guys throw that in the chat right now. Poseidon been making plays for this team all day. Can he close it out for his team? We're going to find out soon. We will find out soon right now. Just chilling back on that block there. Sniper shot going to go out. Not going to connect and do any damage with anybody. But when you hear that sniper shot go out and you got Hudson's in the room, you best believe heads will fly. That's you, you're right about that. Heads will fly. And uh, so Boom Shot is in control uh, by Orbit, okay? And right here... Poseidon make, going in to make plays. His teammate's going to kill him. Why he going to nurse it down? And here go Affinity. You know, he, he's trying to make up for his roll. Nice frag. It was a good frag to make him roll, but he stunned himself with that frag, but they did not take advantage of that. He, they're going to get flanked from the side right there by Eternity. And Affinity is going to stay aggressive. Hudson's picking up the headshot on Prison right there. Affinity's just being patient right now. 3v3 situation. I feel like every time I see a Hudson's headshot, I should just yell out headshot <laughs> when it comes up on the screen. Yeah, it's, you it's can that. do that. <laughs> but then, then you might talk over me like every second because he's getting headshots every second. That's true. It might be the only thing we're saying is headshot. But then around will be over with quicker, right? That's true. That's, That's true. true as well. Uh. Moving around here, three on three. Field people breaking down. Hudson still with the rifle in his hand. Affinity going to be inside there in that hangar watching Boom Shot. Boom Shot is there. All right. We'll be able to make a play for it now. Booms are going to be out right now. Not going to be able to connect with anybody right here. Affinity's waiting for that boom respawn, and he's going to get it, getting that second set of boom, and he's going to be in a good position. He's going to push up right now, and he's going to hold off, getting good, getting some call-outs from his teammates, trying to see where does he want to rotate. And it's another snipe's going to get picked up. Hudson's going to be looking for that guy right now as we see him looking for him in the shutter. Uh, Affinity's going to push up right now. He's gonna hold off. He's gonna hold off. Got those boom shots pocketed, so he does still have two. He wants to get a good angle right now, so he's gonna try to force these guys off a helipad. But uh, he needs to move with a lot more. He's he's moving with cover. Uh, he's gonna pick up these nades right now, so he's gonna have this boom nade combo. But I would suggest he push up helipad because it's not that many that many shots he can take from from helipad. It is some, but he's more in the open and subjected to get headshotted. All right. Well, he's gonna change over now. Pull his frag out there, looking for the call out from his teammates. Hudson's going to go up and follow him there. It looks like they are going to go up to the helipad here. Actually, Hudson's at the helipad. Finney's still going to stay down low with the boom shot. Looking for the callouts, looking for the plays here. One minute left on the clock, winding down into round number one. And remember, a win on this round or a draw is huge for E6 because uh, they had caught first round. And Eternity takes that nightfall there, so another headshot going out for E6. Sniper shot's going to fly past Affinity. He has boom shot. Got to take a shot there. That was a good play. Not going to connect. Good try. Headshot. Hudson again. Headshot. <laughs> I missed it. I missed the opportunity. You did. You did. But here we go. You might get another opportunity right here. Oh. And he's, he's going to be right here. Red. And he's going to back it up. This is the 1v1. It needs to be pushed, but he's not going to push it. Hudson's just going to come back into the fight right now. He's pushing. Attorney will clean up secret, though. And that's going to be it. E6 taking down round number one there. Winning on Cogside. They'll go over to the advantage this round. You know, and it's really... A really big play for them. It's definitely a big play for them right there. Uh, Eternity and Hudson's right there bringing this first round out for their team, which was a good first round because that was their bad side. And why I call it the bad side is because you get to the boom shot a little bit slower on the cog side. So them winning, winning, that, uh, winning that first round was pretty crucial for them. So now they're going to be on their good side, and it should be uh, a round to start out for them. All right, Nightfall going in back door here, going to be heading towards that boom shot, putting out shots there. Boom shot is slid by E6 into the corner. They got him in the corner there. Can they kill them, though, as Secret will take down Eternity. Boom, 
Hope goes out there. Poseidon taking out himself. Also taking out Secret. And Hudson's there to take out Prison. So we're looking at a good, good string of events for E6. This looks like it's going to be a potential round number two in their favor. It's a 2v1 versus Inertia. And if there was ever a time to make a name for yourself, Inertia, this is it right now. Yes, it is. This is now the time. This is definitely the time right here. Poseidon is trying to go for that Best Up and Coming Player Award, huh? huh? Best Up and Comer. <laughs> well, I, I think he's in, the, he's in the Pro League, so I don't think he can even get that. Yeah, you know? But we'll create you never it for know, him. Right? We'll create it for him. And there's on the run now. What does he got to do here, Blaze, to come out this? Get a power up in his hand? Just keep moving, try to get a draw? What are we looking at here? He needs to create distance and try to catch one of these guys off guards and try to force a 1v1. He knows it's not going to be behind him. There's not enough cover there for him. Uh, and he's gonna just dodge all, all type of snipe shots right here. Gonna try to get some snipe shots through that through the, uh, the shutter right there, and he's gonna hold off. And hold off, moving around, trying to stay alive. Has a player right now. Headshot. Headshot. Headshot for Hudson's again. I was That's slow gonna it. be around. He was slow that time, and it's two to zero for E6 right now. Hudson's on top, 488, five kills, zero deaths. All right. Staying alive. Hudson's, is he going to force our commentary or not? Okay, he's going to so, force our hand. So, so, so far, he's forcing our hand every single round right here. Uh, and going to go on board here with Prison. Prison and now. And he's going to grab these nades here. We're going to watch this first initial nade that he's going to throw. There's going to be a defensive nade. If he gets the call out, he does not get the call out that these guys are being aggressive on the front box. But as we notice that Prison with these nades, he plays closer to the front door. Secret's going to pick up a kill there on Poseidon's side. They're going to actually trade off Poseidon. That's a good trade off. Prison, I think he may have stunned himself with his own aid. Eternity goes down. They cannot save Prison. Inertia just needs to stay alive right here. Trying to get some shots on that Anya's toes right there, but her toes are just too small for the damage to come. And I think he did grenade himself there, by the way. I think he did stun himself with that grenade. It looked like front door. Cause his death there. Two on two now. Infinity going to move up towards the helipad. Taking a look around. Boom shot we see. Is that boom shot coming in there? Yeah. It should be one boom shot still in play right now. Ah, you're taking a lot of damage right here. Finney's gonna stay alive, and he's gonna hold it off right here. Gonna stay on this side of Helipad. Uh, he has a teammate right there, Hudson. Has snipe. Be careful. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you might get it. You might get an introduction to Hudson's again with the rifle. But on the other hand, the rifle picked up for Orbit, and you know you really can't count them out with the rifle either, because they have a lot of great players on the team. Inertia being their sniper currently on the team. He's, yeah. lo he's looking to, to take down that top sniper Hudson's and say, you know what, man, I can snipe a little bit too. Yeah, Inertia's, no, Inertia's good with it. He, he's definitely very good with that scope of. I've seen it over the years. Uh, he definitely can catch some heads, you know, but, you know, he does it all. He just feels where his team needs him to fill at. Well, we're waiting now. I, th I, feel like, I feel like a headshot is only fitting right now to kick it off. It's 2v2, a headshot to make it a 1v2. It's got to happen. Yeah, E6 is going for the quick 3-0 right here on, on uh, Orbit. So we're going to see if uh, Finney, he's going to go to rotation. He's going to hop in the hangar right here. This is going to be insurance in case this round goes south for him. All right, getting the insurance there in in the hangar, moving around. Infinity going to go back. We see both members of Orbit inside, possibly waiting for that boom shot again, unless they just picked it up. Yeah, they're trying to dodge Hudson in that, that second shutter right here. And he's controlling their rotations right now. And inertia, risky is all no, just risky on that ramp right there, being open. Uh, but boom shot is going to go for a push, and inertia is going to go is it maybe for a snipe pickup. Nah, he's going for the the round security. He's going to let boom work on his own. Uh, so he's going to let boom. Ooh, look at that angle. We've been seeing things today. We saw an angle. We saw lava with the uh, grenade under the bench earlier yep. from denial. And now we're seeing this. You know, this isn't really. I wouldn't call it a great angle, but of course, if it gets a headshot it's, it's, for him, yeah, exactly. it's going to be a great angle. Yeah, exactly. If he comes out with uh, results right here, it's definitely a good shot for him. And, you know, as we see, he's just holding strong here. got a lot of patience. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Dun-dun. Wait for it. Simultaneous dun -dun, headshot. Dun-dun. 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 Will they get it? Dun-dun. Headshot! Got him! <laughs> Unreal! Wow! Making spots, making plays, making the highlight reel again. Yes. What are the odds he's gonna go and stand there and get his head popped by Hudson's again? Uh, folks, that is here's a the mind play. games are here, folks. <laughs> there it is here. Okay, now this is turned into a two v one situation. Uh, you know, and Hudson's is gonna back out of here. And uh, 17 seconds left on the clock. He's looking for this guy. 
can he get to catch him with the next headshot for the uh, the win on this round? And they're looking for him. I think they know exactly where he is. He's looking for him. Hunting him down. Blood in the water. Three seconds to do it. Got some lock, but cannot do anything about it. And that's going to be a draw there. So yep. a good try at the end of the round. But man, Hudson's again. I just, you know, people are going to think out there. I want to just go and throw this out there. I'm not the number one Hudson's fan in the world. I'm not here. No, to I'm saying you, know you can't not say something though. When every time you go on his point of view, he pulls a headshot. No, he forces you to be a fan. Like it's as simple as that. Like he forces your hand and he forces you to be a fan every time you watch the guy play. It's like uh, he's like, hey, give me give me camera time, okay? You know. Come on, you already know what's gonna happen. And I am wearing my E6 boxers and my I love Hudson T-shirt, but that's not to say I don't like other players, you know? Yep. And then shout out to E6. Welcome them to the uh, Gears of War. Pro and welcome League to as this well. round as a fan Affinity there, going to take out Eternity for some reason, and that's going to be a disadvantage for them. Affinity moving around now, got the jump on a player. Going to take him out with that back A there. Prison going to take out his own teammate there. And that's going to be a round for E6, man. That's a quick, quick round. That's a 3-0 for E6, and they are one round away from pulling it out. Pulling out the victory. That was a good round on their good side right there. They took uh, full full advantage right there. And good play there by Affinity right there. Not going for that quick clean up on the down right there. Just did uh, opted to pull out his pistol and assist his teammate right there at back boom. Uh, so we're going to go on board here with... Uh, let's go on board here with Hudson's. All right. There we go. Why not? Why not, right? Getting that slide, that backward slide. Going to go over towards a great right away. Look at that. Right away hops down immediately into scope. Waiting for the opportunity. Getting another angle. He get that angle through there. Through that little corner. Boom shot will be picked up though by Orbit. They know Hudson's is watching. He is watching. They're gonna He's be waiting. Careful. Yep, they're going to be careful with their movement and the rotation. Hudson sees to the right that Affinity may need some help over there at those nades. Affinity <laughs> taking a shot, but Hudson's so geared towards uh, picking up that boom shot. And he's gonna go immediately for the right away, uh, huh? Yeah, right away. Back to the uh, back to the hangar right away. This is an yeah. interesting interesting turn of events. But That's hey, not surprising. I'm not gonna question him anymore. I'm sick of it. Yeah, sick you know. of uh, questioning the spots when he pulls it out. Yeah. Back uh, to the back to old reliable over here in the corner. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And it's one thing, okay, we've seen the trend with E6 now. I've seen the trend with them, and I've seen it on canals, and I've seen it on this map. Uh, their initial bad, sad strats, once they play once they play defense, they play hard defense, okay? Uh, once they make that decision, you know, as we've seen this map, yo, back in the hangar, hold off, uh, don't show yourself, wait for them to mess up, okay? Same thing canals. Uh, yo, chill water stairs, get back, collect snipes, hold off, wait for them to play, and... Uh, and, and uh, you know, catch them off guard. But you know, you you'll hope that their bad sides, uh, their bad side strats, that they can react quick enough to make these plays though. But they don't, they don't take chances. And they have three zero. And I guess they say, yo, we can draw out another round and go to our good side and win it in ten seconds again. Yeah, you that's know? one thing I have to say too. I have to agree with that um, to the point where E6. You know, there's not really another team in the pro league like them. There's seven other teams, but they have their own gameplay style. It's a different kind of style, a little bit slower, uh, built more on you know teamwork over individual skill, I'd say. So we haven't seen that kind of that kind of gameplay thus far make it into our top four. Maybe season two though, maybe they can have their chance to turn it around here. Season two, come out and show us that you know they can have their own strategies and still be successful. And like yo, as you see, like you know they're either super aggressive or super passive. Uh, and as I told you guys when we first started off, what is going on over here? A lot. Just going on. <laughs> okay. And as I told you guys when we first started off, they had an ability to flip the switch and be both, and they've shown it here today uh, with with exactly the transitions that they've been making. I guess it depends on who's called a strat, if it's Eternity or if it's Affinity. Well, a little dance again from Poseidon. We've seen uh, him doing some good dance moves today against that truck. And uh, rounds breaking down here. We obviously know already E6 is just going to try and draw it out here, try to get back to the other side of the map. I think he's changing the tire. Next round, changing the tire. It's, it's not a one-man job in that tire, though. That's a big old tire. One minute left in the round. Breaking down here. We're going to see a couple of kills most likely go out. And then we'll see either a draw or a wipeout from E6 here. Yeah, like, and, the, you know, the thing is that they're forcing their hands so much on these bad sides, whereas actually... It's kind of sad because and uh, Orbit had this issue beforehand, and I called Orbit out on this issue uh, on the early canals with, uh, with with Justice. I think that Orbit's transitions are just way too slow. You know, they, you know, once they get that boom, especially if you know how these guys are playing, you guys need to move quick, 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 quick. And once again, you guys make a push, 
uh, and E6 just demolished you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, and right now we have 13 seconds. E6 looking to somehow close it out, but we do have Orbit. They are running eight seconds left. I don't think Poseidon can catch him. As Nightfall will get the down there too. It's gonna be a draw around, Blaze. We're gonna go on to our next round here, but it's before another, we do, it's another one round by E6. Is exactly what that is. That's because that was their bad side, and Orbit was just not quick enough to catch the guys off guard before they transition back into spawn. They just need to move quick. Once you get that boom, just keep moving. Keep moving. You got to throw E6 off balance, but they're not doing it quick enough. And, you know, that move there won't win E6 any popularity votes by any means, of it, course. No, it definitely won't, but, you know, you can't knock them when it comes it's to the It's almost like break. back in the day, the, the, the pro wrestling theme of it, when you had that, that bad guy who would hold onto the ropes for extra advantage there at the end of the match. Yeah. E6, knowing they could just wait it out, draw out the round, and then come up next round and do the thing. So here we go. Beside inside already. Going to try to slide. Boom shot. Not going to get it, though. And there he goes. Second time is a charm. Boom shot in possession of Poseidon. Going to boom the ground there. Call out from his teammate on point. Down inertia. And now a second boom shot. Looking to go out there. Great job. Gets a double kill. Four on two advantage for E6 now, Blaze. They're winding down. Yeah, they're definitely winding down. Going into these last few rounds here. Uh, Secret's going to pick up a kill. He's going to make it less of a disadvantage right here. But Secret is down. His last member prison is going to take a lot of shots. And that's going to be all she wrote. That's it. He falls over. Gives it up. And it's going to be E6 taking it down. Three maps to one. They come out with the victory. And they are moving up in their standings for the Pro League. Yes, they are. Uh, just total control of that map there by E6 with a 3-0 victory there. So good job by them guys. Good job. A lot of headshots we saw. Yep.